In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the speed of water as it leaks out of a tank. So as you can see right here, we have a bucket with a leak at the bottom. And what we're looking for is the speed at which that water is coming out. And as a second part to this question, the amount of volume per unit time. So the question reads, calculate the speed at which liquid flows out a small hole in the bottom of a large tank containing liquid to a depth of 1.0 meters. Also find the volume flow rate, that is dV over dt, for a hole of radius 3.0 millimeters. Now the solution to this problem can also be applied if the hole were on the side of the tank or if the water was coming out of a valve, a spigot, or whatever the case may be. So to answer this problem, we will look at Bernoulli's equation, which is this equation shown right here that relates three important things. The pressure at the top of the tank, so that's this term, plus the potential energy per unit volume, and that's represented by this term of the equation, again, at the top of the tank, and the kinetic energy per unit volume at the top versus where it is leaking at the bottom of the tank, and that's the right side of the equation. To answer a problem like this, you need to be a little clever when it comes to understanding what's going on. For example, since the fluid being water coming out of the hole at the bottom and the top of the container are open to the atmosphere, the pressure at these two points is the same. So if P1 and P2 are equal, then we can kind of cancel them out of this equation completely. I mean, algebraically, you can bring one over to the other side and they'll cancel out because they are the same. Furthermore, the area at the top of the tank, which I'll call A sub 1, is much greater than the area in which the water is flowing out, the water is leaking out. Because of that, the speed at which the water descends up here is almost negligible to the speed at which the water flows out of this hole. Therefore, we can make the assumption that V sub 1 is equal to 0 millimeters per second. Now, if you can't make this assumption, then you're kind of stuck. You'd be missing information, and you wouldn't be able to answer such a question. You can't always make this assumption, but in this case, it's true since we're dealing with a depth of 1 meter, and the water is flowing out a little hole. That being said, if we substitute 0 into this factor V on the left side of the equation, that makes this whole term go to 0. All right. The next thing that we can say is that the height at this point, which is written as h sub 1, is equal to 0. And the height at the bottom here is equal to negative 1.0 meters. And that's given in the question, since the depth of the tank is 1 meter. OK, substituting 0 into this factor h sub 1 makes this term go to 0 leaving us with an equation that has the left side completely equal to 0 and the right side equaling to these two terms. Let's discuss what those terms are. We have this Greek letter rho, which represents density of water. Okay, Multiply to g, the acceleration due to gravity, that's a constant, times h sub 2, plus half rho and the velocity in which we are looking for the final velocity out of this hole. OK, let's rearrange for v sub 2. We'll take this term over to the left side. And remember, it becomes negative. And on the right side, we have half rho v sub 2 to the power of 2. Notice that the factor rho is present on both sides of the equation, so we can cancel that out. And I'll substitute negative 1.0 meters in for h sub 2, leaving us with negative from over here times negative 1.0 meters times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, notice that these two negatives cancel out, becoming positive. And on the right side, we have a factor of half times v sub 2 to the power of 2. Multiplying both sides by 2 gets rid of this fraction. So we have 2 times 1 times 9.8 meters per second squared. That reduces down to 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. 
And on the right side, we can finally isolate for v by square rooting both sides. All right. By taking the square root of this product, we have our velocity. So the square root of 2 times 9.8 makes roughly 4.4 .4 meters per second. So that's the velocity at which this water is leaking out of this tank. And what we've done here, having created this equation, and I'll write it in its generic form, where we have v sub 2 is equal to the square root of 2 times g times h, is actually a very special formula. And it is called the Torricelli theorem, which is a byproduct of the Bernoulli equation. The Torricelli equation always tells us that the velocity through a hole or a spigot or a valve is equal to the square root of 2 times the product of the height difference and the gravitational constant. Of course, keeping in mind the initial assumptions we made about the velocity. Okay, now we can move on to the second question or second part. Find the volume flow rate that is dV per dt, in other words, the volume per unit time, for a hole of radius 3.0 millimeters. Okay, if we're going through a hole with a radius of 3.0 millimeters, we need to find the area. And the area can be calculated by taking pi r squared. And you want this in meters. Right now it's in millimeters. So I'll divide that by 1,000 to make it into meters. And I'll continue my calculation up here. So area is equal to pi times 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. That's the conversion into meters. And we raise that to the power of 2. So we'll find the area then multiply it by the speed in which we found earlier. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's find the area first. So pi times 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And that is being raised to the power of 2. So I'll just be careful with that. Raise that to the power of 2. Then we'll multiply this by the velocity. So I'll write this down as dv over dt is equal to the area. That's the area at the bottom, multiply to 2 times g times h. And we found this to be 4.4 .4 meters per second. And the area we found on our calculator being that value. So times 4.4 .4 gives us 1.24, or simply 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters cubed per second. And there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the speed of water flow through a hole.